Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will learn how to use timer function blocks in TIA Portal. I have connected TIA Portal to Factory I.O. I made a scene with a switch and a lamp. And a simple code that make the switch turn on the lamp. To add a timer function block we have to open up the instructions tab. Then from here, we open up timer operations folder. There are four different type of timer function blocks. We will go through how all four of them works. Let's begin with the T on function block first. To add it we simply click it and drag it to the rung. The timer block will make a data block automatically for us. The in connection of the block is which signal that will make the block start counting. And the Q connection is which output we want to turn on once the timer counted up to the set value. The PT connection stands for preset time. This is where we decide for how long the block will count up for. To set a time here we type t, hashtag, and how long it should count for. I will go with 4 seconds. The ET connector stands for elapsed time. This one we can use to if we want to know for how long the timer block have counted for. I will just leave it at 0. Let's download the program and start the scene. As you can see the block will start counting up once I turn on the switch. And once it reaches its preset value the lamp will turn on. I will now remove the T on block and add a T off block instead. I will give it the same values as the previous block. Let's download the program, run the scene and see how the T off block differentiate from the previous block. This block will start counting when we turn off the switch and keep the output on until it reached its preset value. I will now remove the T off block and add a TP block instead. I will stick with the same values as the previous blocks. Let's download the program, run the scene and see how the TP block differentiate from the previous blocks. The TP block will activate its output signal immediately when I turn the switch, and once it reaches its preset value it will turn off the output. I will now add the last timer function block, the T on our block. I will stick with the same values as the previous blocks. But this one got one extra input called R. It stands for reset, 
and it will reset the time when triggered. I have added a reset button to the scene which I will use as my reset. Let's download the program, run the scene and see how the T on our block differentiate from the previous blocks. The T on our block will activate its output signal once the preset timer reached its set value. And it will stay on for as long until the reset input gets triggered. I will now show how we can use the elapsed time output signal from our timer block. I made a scene with 9 lamps. And some programming where each lamp should turn on for each second the elapsed time have counted up. Let's program the first lamp together. I will put two comparators one greater than and one lesser than. And on the top side of the comparator we want to add the block's elapsed time. To do so we choose the data block created for our timer block. Then we choose ET. And on the bottom side we can choose at which time we want it to turn on. We will do same on the other comparator. Let's download the program and run the scene. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.